the ultimate advice for an introverted entrepreneur. An intrapreneur. Yeah, let's go with that. So, if you're an introverted entrepreneur just like myself, now you may see me on the screen, you may think, oh my god, he's so extra, he's so extroverted and all of this. I'm an introvert of extroverted tendencies. Now an introvert and extrovert, I explain this on another video, so go and head over to my other video. I will link it somewhere either on this page or it will be in the link below. But basically, an introvert can be confident, 100%. I am a confident introvert. I just, the way that I recharge is by being on myself, by, by being on my own. So you need to ask yourself, are you an introvert? If you know that you're an introvert already, Brilliant, perfect. Let's show you how to become a successful entrepreneur. Now don't get me wrong, I'm not an entrepreneur. I, well, I am an entrepreneur, but I'm not a successful entrepreneur like as a business, as a business. Internally, I'm successful. I know that 100%, so I believe that is what success is. But I'm still building my business. But I understand that I needed to get in alignment first. And that's when I started attracting all these great things into my life as an introverted entrepreneur, an entrepreneur, consciouspreneur. A conscious entre a conscious entrepreneur. <laughs> so what it is, you need that confidence. Now confidence doesn't have to come with all of this, all this, all this screaming and shouting. It doesn't have to come with that. Confidence is knowing what you're talking about. It's about being clear, concise. But main, mainly, it's about having that confidence that you know you can serve someone else. If you truly, truly believed in your service, whether it's marketing, whether it's coaching, whether it's um, fitness, whatever it is, whether it's a product, if you truly, truly believed in your product, you truly believed in your service, you truly believed in your program, you would, you would be doing a disservice to not selling it to them. And don't get me wrong, I was the possible worst salesman ever, like ever, I could not sell anything ever ever <laughs> because I just I hated it I thought it was sleazy I thought I just oh I really didn't like it when I came to the understanding of if I don't coach them they won't get the result if they don't get the result I feel bad for not doing that and just as it goes in order for a business to run it needs to make money so ask yourself this question do you truly believe in the service, the product, the business that you are running? Because if you truly believe in it, no matter if you're an introvert, no matter if you're an extrovert, but this is specifically for an introvert, do you want to get the, res or can you get the results for that specific person, those specific people, that specific business that you're working for? And if you can, then what's stopping you, logically, from selling your service? Because you'll do any, any, you should do anything in your power in order to get, the get them to that place. So as an introverted entrepreneur, an entrepreneur, or whatever we're going to call it, <laughs> let's just go introverted entrepreneur. If you are an introverted entrepreneur, you need to understand that confidence comes from that of the competence. If you know what you can do is going to bring them value, that's the competence. But if you don't have confidence, you will never be able to provide them with your competence because you won't be able to sell yourself, you won't be able to sell your, your service, you won't be able to sell your products. So, what is confidence? Confidence isn't, and I'll tell you what it isn't, it's not coming from an ego, it's not saying I'm better than you, it's not saying you are stupid, I am right, you are wrong. Confidence is, just as I said, it's coming with that state of level of, I know what I'm talking about, but it's also allowing yourself to be you, not worrying about what other people think about you. Regardless of what you do in life, whether you start this business, whether you pursue this business, whether you continue with this business, whether you change to a different business, People will judge you in life, regardless. Now, when I first heard that, I was like, what, they're gonna judge me still? I've been judged my whole life. When realistically, when you assume, that like the saying goes, you make an ass out of you and me, because we assume someone's thinking this, someone's saying this, when 90% of the time, they actually don't care about you. And again, I get this, because I, it's coming from my experience, and I was like, but yeah, but they still may be saying it, but they really don't care. Like, like logically, they don't actually care. But for you to actually worry about what they're saying, 
all that's doing is hurting you. Because what they're going to say, they're going to say. They're going to say it regardless. They think you're a loser, so be it. They think you're cool, so be it. If you focus too much on people loving you and that's all that you need, that's going to make people hating you hurt even more. If you can be confident in who you are, you can say no to some opportunities, you can say yes to opportunities, you can say no to some people, you can say yes to some people. You don't need to be a, or you don't have to be an introvert to be a pushover, you don't have to be a pushover to be an introvert. I was that pushover introvert, very easily, I was very easily targeted, I was very easily, I would say yes to everything. When I understood my self awareness, my self value, what I was worth, that stopped happening. So ask yourself this question. What are you worth? Do you deserve to be happy? Because starting from very, very basics, you can't pour from an empty cup. You want to provide someone with value, you've got to have that value inside of you, you've got to be able to pour it in them. If you're a pushover, then you need to understand how to not be a pushover, but that's serving you very well right now, and that served me very well. I had to figure it out. I had to figure it out, I had no choice. And it cost me a lot of money. It cost me a lot of time, it cost me a lot of energy. But if you're willing to go to where you want to be, you will take that chance. If you're not willing, I can't make you be willing. And that's where I will end it here. If you want that in life, you have to go for it. And nothing will stop you other than your own mind. So if you believe you can have it, you will have it. You just gotta find the process. And if you want a proven plan, speak to me and I will help you. But other than that, you need to, you need to go and fight for it. You, you do anything in order to become that confident person. To be that confident introvert. To be that confident, introverted, contrapreneur is who you need to be. So I hope you have an absolutely amazing day. Keep smiling, spreading love, kindness, positivity.